everybody, how's it going? Uh, today we got a uh, review video on the Walmart Superman Man of Tomorrow DVD. Blu-ray and uh, digital, co uh, digital code copy from Walmart. Right now I believe it is $29.99. That figure there is just so amazing. I'm just going to grab the camera real quick and I'll readjust it afterwards. I just really want to show you guys this. That figure is one of the best figures I have seen from um, these DVD box sets, except for um, Red Sun, which I was really lucky and really fortunate to end up grabbing one. At first, I was a uh, I kept seeing them and like the eyes kept being like one was over here looking this way and one was up here and I was just like the pink job isn't that great but we were walking through Walmart when they were having the clearance on all like they had all the DC movies going up from the run of uh and if you haven't seen it you you need to see it if you're a DC fan like you love like Superman Flash Doctor Fate those guys if you love any of those guys you need you need to watch the last run that they did the last arc I believe it starts with flashpoint paradox all the way up to um, actually maybe it starts before flashpoint paradox uh, I'm not too sure let me know in the comments down below because I know there was a uh, Justice League dark and I think that's the first one or it's flashpoint paradox one of the two but it ends up ending with uh, Justice League Dark Apocalypse, which was just the not like in my personal opinion, nothing will ever blow the water like uh, Flashpoint Paradox. The only one that came close, the only one that that came close to that level of <gasps> was um, Suicide Suicide Squad Hell to Pay, the one with. Uh, uh, Amanda Waller trying to get, uh, Amanda Waller, yeah, trying to get the, uh, get out of hell card. No, no, no more spoilers. So, I if you don't like Suicide Squad, because I wasn't a big fan of Suicide Squad at first, you need to see Hell to Pay. It'll totally change your outlook on Suicide Squad, because that just turned me into a massive fan of them. And now I buy any, uh, DVD with them on it. Because, yeah, these, these stories, like... You get Lobo in this movie. I don't know if you guys know who Lobo is, but <laughs> he's a space bounty hunter and I love him so much. He is a bounty hunter, right? I'm pretty sure he's a bounty hunter. Like all the comics that I used to read and stuff, he was always a bounty hunter. Um, the Brightest Day, Darkest Night series. When I read that, I believe he had a red lantern ring, which was just amazing. But enough of that, let's get to the actual DVD. I'm so excited to see this. This is my first time actually seeing the cover. And they do always an amazing job with their covers on these DVDs, the slip covers. I'm, feel, I'm feeling it to see if it's lifted. It's not lifted, which is okay. I can live with that. But here you go. I really wish they would have did the embossment. That's what it's called, embossment. I wish they would have embossed the DVD case. But this is the beginning of the new run, and I'm really excited for the new one coming. I'll do a video on it as soon as I find it in Walmart and I swoop it up. Uh, Death in the Family or something like that. It's the new. It's from the new run of DC. But look at that. Isn't that fucking gorgeous? And I can't wait to watch it. It's foil, by the way. Like, there's foiling all in the background. I don't know if you can see. Um, yeah, I got a phone call and it stopped my video. Uh, I was saying if you can see the foiling when I turn it. It's not as prominent as um, Bloodlines. Now that, the Wonder Woman case for Bloodlines is just like oh, breathtaking. I'm really excited to watch this movie though because the uh, art and the story arc for this looks really good. It's like uh, the upbringing of Superman before he's Superman. And you got Martian Manhunter in it. And the art style for it just looks nuts. I'm so excited to watch it. Um, DC movies have a really great feel to them when you watch them, like the art styles. To the artist, is But, the movies always just feel really good to watch. And I've become a really huge fan of them. Like, I've always been a comic guy, I've always loved my comics, don't get it twisted, but... The movies I always thought were more for pandering towards kids. 
And I know that's a really weak thing to say, but I thought they would have really derped my favorite characters and stuff like that. But they do not. Oh my gosh, they do not. Like right now I'm watching Young Justice on Netflix and that is just, that is just like, woo! I got to the, um, I'm, I'm up, sorry for spoilers. If you haven't started watching it yet, you need to. But there's a part with uh, Zatara and he becomes uh, Dr. Fate and my mind just went <laughs> like Superboy, amazing. Connor Kent, love it. Speedy, love it. Never thought I'd be a fan of all this stuff, but just like the, the shows and stuff, not the actual and the DC stuff because I've always loved it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you get a chance to go buy this and watch this. If you enjoyed my review of it, leave me a like, hit that subscribe. I'll definitely be doing more. Um, I might end up doing the entire arc that I have from the Flashpoint Paradox. Just cause. <laughs> and uh, yeah, again, thanks everybody for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. I really hope you enjoyed. I know I didn't take this out of the box, but that's cause I never do. <laughs> I'm just weird like that. Look at that figure though, look how cool that is. Let me just get the camera in on this before I let you guys go. I just love it so much. I just need you guys to see this with me. And if I'm not mistaken, that's probably gonna be a, a Martian man, uh, Martian as well. Cause Magyan looks different than Manhunter, so. All right, later guys, enough spoilers, bye.